Hi, this is a Netherton Foundry cast iron casserole dish with a wooden knob and I'm going to show you how to re-season it. So we're going to get it back to looking like factory fresh. I've chosen a particularly a particularly tired example here. This one's not been this this hasn't been loved. So the first thing is let's look at what we're going to need. I've got an nylon uh, scouring pad here. Some cotton to put the oil on and take the uh, seasoning oil off. I've chosen some cotton here. It's best to use something with no synthetic fibres that could melt in the oven. A crosshead screwdriver here to take the knob off. And most importantly, some seasoning oil. Uh, our fax oil is grown for us by Fax Farm in West Sussex. So now we're going to unscrew the lid. If you've got a cast iron knob on your lid, you don't need to do this, you can leave the knob on. Let's put that in there for safekeeping because we're going to need that again later. So you can see I'm just filling up the sink here at home with some hot water. And putting a bit of washing up liquid in. Normal cooking, you don't need to. The the um, easy clean finish is so good that normally a hot water and a quick rinse is all you need. So I'm just giving this a quick scrub now. Getting any small flaky bits of food off. Don't be worried about giving it a good rub. Even if you wear through the black coating, don't worry. That's not a problem because we're going to put it. We're going to put some back on again. Don't have any concerns if there's any streaky bits at this point. I've chosen to do this at home rather than at the foundry, really, just to show you how easy it is. No special equipment needed. Here you are. A nice smooth finish on the inside, no bits sticking, nice, yeah, that's out, nice and clean. There's no concern, but I can see a few bits of the metal showing through there because we'll soon have those coated again. Now just give this a rinse with some warm clean water to make sure there's no traces of detergent on it. Now I'm just going to thoroughly dry a little water off before we put the oil back on again. It is important to get the bowl very dry before you put the oil on. The drier it is, the better the oil will adhere. So I'll put a bit of paper on the table here now. It's not a very messy job, but it's nice to keep everything clean. I've got a nice warm lid. It's not hot, warm, very dry. And the secret here to good seasoning is a very even but very thin layer of oil. A bottle like this should last you oh, 10 years. Very, very small amounts. Definitely no runs, no drips. The thinner it is, the blacker it will become and the harder the surface will be. Don't worry if you leave any small strands of cotton, they'll just burn and you can brush those off, burn off and you can brush those off later. And now for the bowl. You can see how little I've put on so far. People quite often ask to me how often they should do this. Uh, it's a bit of a difficult question because it depends how you you treat your your bowl. I the ones that we have at home here, we 
could probably re-season maybe twice a year. There are certain things which will might mean that you might need to do it a little bit more often. If you cook with a lot of alcohol uh, or lots of citrus fruits, you might need to do it slightly more often. If you regularly season your um, your meat in the pan, and we'd really recommend that you do use your pan all the time, uh, you'll find that you're probably never doing it. So um, certainly things like bacon fat, uh, frying up your meat before you use it in the, in, the, in the pan will actually add to the seasoning. Now here is the important part. I put the oil on and now I'm going to take another piece of clean cotton. You could use kitchen towel for this. And I'm just going to give the whole thing a little bit of a wipe. So it's almost dry to the touch. Just put the bowl and the lid into the oven. Uh, close it now. The oven is set at 250 degrees. I'm going to let it get up to temperature and then leave it for 40 minutes. So now I've got the next 40 minutes to uh, have a bit of a rest. Let's have a look at some new books we've been, we've been given. If you find that your kitchen is filling with smoke, you put way too much oil on. There should be just a slight smell of oil in the air. Put, put your uh, cooker hood on or open the back door. You can use this same seasoning process on a brand new uh, bowl or pan. Uh, think about just giving it a quick coating before you use it for the first time. Not essential, but perhaps it'll help uh, make it even better. So I've let this cool down now. Let's check. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, nice even black finish. Now let's just put the knob on. And there you are, a reseasoned Nettleton Foundry cast iron casserole. Silky black, smooth and even, no runs, a good easy clean coating across the whole surface. Hope you found that useful. Any problems, please feel free to give us a call.